Hi, I'm Megan Mayhew. Welcome to our video conversion badge. Today, I'll be showing you how to use our Pinnacle software to turn your VHS tape into a digital file and how to use our Kodak film scanner here at Central Red Bahanic Regional Library's Idea Space. Before we get started, I'm going to introduce you to some terms that you will hear in this video. VCR. VCR stands for Video Cassette Recorder. VCRs can play and record VHS tapes and some come as a VCR DVD combination device. VHS. VHS stands for Video Home System, and this is used as a slang term for video cassette tapes. Dazzle. The Dazzle USB capture device is what attaches the VCR to the computer so the software can capture your video. Before you convert your VHS tape, always make sure the VCR is turned on before you insert the VHS tape. If you want to record the entire VHS tape, make sure to rewind it first. If you have a VHS C cassette you'd like to convert, we have a C cassette converter. To use it, push the front switch to the right to open it. Place the cassette face up and close the lid. Once the cassette is in, the cassette will function as a VHS tape. After you've loaded the VCR, open the Pinnacle software from the desktop. Today, I will be showing you how to use this software to convert a VHS tape to an MPG4 file format. Once Pinnacle is open, click on Import at the top of the user interface. The Import tab will open. If it's not already selected, choose Roxio Video Capture USB. In the File Name field, name the file. Pinnacle will leave whatever file name was last used in this box so make sure to update this for each file that you convert. Select the file save location. To do this, click on the small folder icon. Choose the folder in which you want the program to place your files and click OK. Select Start Capture in Pinnacle and the software will start a countdown from three. Once it gets to one, press play on the VCR and the software will begin capturing your video. Let the VHS play and Pinnacle will record the information to the file location you've designated. It's important to note that your video converts in real time, so you'll have to sit with it while it converts. When the tape is complete, press stop on the VCR, then press stop capture in Pinnacle. Check that your files have been saved in the location you chose. Once you have confirmed they have been saved, you can transfer the files to the storage location of your choice. When you are done capturing from your VHS tape, press Rewind on the VCR. Once your VHS is completely rewound, press Eject and remove the VHS tape. Our video conversion station also has a Kodak film scanner that can convert your slides and negatives into JPEG files. The Kodak Scanza digital film scanner converts 35mm, 126, 110, and Super 8 film negatives and slides to JPEGs. Before using the film scanner, make sure there is an SD card inserted in the scanner. If there is no SD card inserted, then the scanner will not turn on. The USB cable provides power and allows the scanner to connect to the computer. It will not turn on if the cable is unplugged. Hold down the power button on the scanner for a few seconds until the Kodak logo is displayed. The scanner will display the currently selected film type, adapter, and insert information for 5 seconds before bringing up the home screen. If the displayed settings do not match the type of film you are using, you can navigate to the settings screen and change them. To change the scan settings, navigate to film type. Select the correct film type, and the scanner will display a screen with the tray type required. Select save slash exit, and you'll return to the home screen. From the home screen, press the soft function key under the capture icon to go to the capture menu. Press select to enter the capture mode. Today, I'm going to be demonstrating with 35mm film, which requires tray 2 and no tray insert. Flip up the top cover of the adapter tray. My film is curled, so I'm doing my best to flatten it by only touching the edges of it. Load your film so that it sticks out of the adapter front, like so. Close the cover and adjust your film until only one frame is visible in the window. Load the tray on the right side of the scanner with the arrow pointing toward the scanner 
and push it in until you hear a click. Your loaded image will appear on the LCD screen. Once you are ready, press the hard capture button to capture and save the image. The screen will display saving. If your negative strip is long enough, you can gently pull it to the left until the next image is in frame. Continue pressing the capture button on each new image until you have finished scanning. When your film strip has been completely scanned, pull the adapter out, load a new strip, and continue scanning. When you have finished scanning all of your photos, you can upload the images to the computer. Start by pressing the home button. This will exit the capture mode. Then, press the key under settings. Use the soft keys to navigate to USB upload. Press the middle soft key under select. The scanner will display connecting to computer. Once it has connected, it will display connected to computer and a photo import dialog box will open. Select the photos you want imported, then select import photos. When the import is complete, a dialog box will appear saying the photos were successfully imported. You can now navigate to the photos. Congratulations, you've now earned the video conversion badge. You can reserve the video conversion station anytime after you've demonstrated your knowledge to a staff member. See you next time.